So, I'm walking to Swanish today and um, I've been dropped off It's quite isolated actually I had to come down a little toll road but it's just um, letting drop me off Steps This tower apparently you can rent it out. <coughs> Seems too. <laughs> Says the Isle of Portland. where we stayed the last few nights and then you have when that's Kimridge Bay so this was moved from here to there because <laughs> it's getting a bit close to the edge of the cliff the cliff is eroded. They think it'll be alright there. Uh, looking back. And Portland. Look at those slabs of granite or whatever. I can see. And then today's walk. As you can see, one, two, three, four headlands that I can see. And then around the corner. I don't know what I'll see when I get around the corner. It's not going to be easy. But I feel like I'm back on the coast path after yesterday's nice little walk. But it was quite touristy. I do love Dirtle Door though. I can't really complain about lots of people wanting to go and visit. two people so far on this walk today and there are actually two people from uh, the South West Coast Path um, Facebook page and they're from Wantage which is near where I live it's mad it's very close to the edge this uh, bit of a path but they're like great big slabs of Concrete or whatever, they're not concrete but um, granite or it's a bit slow today because I keep meeting people and talking to them. Um, this is Hans Toot Cliff, so that's a good old walk, isn't it? Pheasant <laughs> walking up the hill too. Why would you walk when you can fly? Here we go. <laughs> oh, funny little thing. It's gonna fly off in a minute. Oh god, that's hard work.
way to go though. this cliff then <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh no it never fails to surprise me the sheer drops down the side of these cliffs you'd think after over 600 miles I'd get used to it <laughs> not oh god that's lovely down there isn't it corner to a place called Chapman's Pool which is a little inlet have a look in a moment there we go that's rather nice isn't it You can hear owls in the distance. It always surprises me, it's not the first time I've heard them. Steep steps going down. Ugh. Oh god. That's the uh I was just up, came down all those steps, Chapman Pool's over there and then I had to walk along that hedge line, along that path and then to a place called Hill Bottom and then up onto this side which is opposite and heading towards an old chapel now I think. It's, oh my god this is beautiful. met some really nice people today <laughs> really chatty but it's like slow me down a bit never mind doesn't matter I've got all day haven't I <laughs> how well and how difficult it is to maintain this footpath there's a fella up there with a strimmer and uh, there's a guy behind me who uh, is clearing away all the leaves from the path and uh, you know, I'd say it's worth my National Trust membership and the Southwest Coastal Path Association membership just to make sure this is done. Otherwise, people like me wouldn't enjoy the walks, would they? There's the cliffs, and there's the Portland again, and this is uh, Coast Guard Cottages, and uh, Oh, excuse me. I was just going round headland, and there's a small church here, and a life and a coast watch centre. So I might sit down, have something to eat at this church. Taking literally <laughs> there's a stone or something. So, oh wow, well, look up chair. <laughs> In my path of happiness shall find the inspiration to Thank you. 
I was just in. It's very sweet. And uh, heading this way is the uh, Coast Watch people. It's a four, but I'm presuming it's because they're near a firing range and the firing range is active today. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder what this is. radar research carried out at work for Matarovas from 1940 to 1942. I think I was just on my lunchtime spot. then I um, just had some lunch I can see the Isle of Wight over there which is just amazing <laughs> and there's a lighthouse on the end of um, that headland so just got that headland to walk around it's kind of got like a fork to it so um, and then into um, a, bit of a place called Dalston or something like that and then the Swanage cliffs called Dancing Ledge Dramatic. And you can just hear the steam engine at Swanage. Oh, I just heard it too. Look at the sky, it's so blue today. Think of all the mist we've had over the past two days. <sighs> there we go, dancing match. Done. I've just seen that old cannon there, just sitting there. <sighs> Don't know what that's for. It's just ground. When I, when I started this walk on the 1st of May, we'd uh, spent a previous, um, previous weekends with my cousins over Easter. Um, I think it was like two weekends before we left and uh, we were in Herefordshire and uh, we did office, some of Office Dyke and it was snowing there was snow when we left and now the ground is so dry you know we had such awful weather this winter and uh, I've been so lucky with the weather but one day where it rained so badly that I didn't want to walk um, but I did walk, I did seven miles and uh, had a half day but uh, you know it made sense not to walk in the rain you got to dry your stuff and everything and it was going to be good the next day so and uh, that was meant to be my rest day so I just did a substitution really so pretty straightforward walk now up to the lighthouse anyway middle orchids in this field and people aren't even noticing them they're just walking past there's just so many I can't even count them people don't know what they are and just don't see them it's amazing isn't it full point lighthouse and uh, girl that was a hard slog along that Long headland, cool. It's proper dummy ankles in today. I'm gonna to sit down, have a drink, have a couple of paracetamol. <laughs> uh, there's a place called Dalston, and there's a castle there, and then head towards Swanage. 
so not far away now I don't think and I just started to have uh, closer views of the Isle of Wight longer see Portland Bill so he's gone we've got the Isle of Wight now <laughs> the Isle of Wight that's a bit wowie isn't it I don't remember oh so the needles might be I don't really want to go down and go up again, that's for sure. Never mind. Oh, this is interesting though. Oh, I sound a bit windy. This is interesting though. <laughs> oh, look at this. Must be an old quarry or something. That's interesting. So just come around that corner and uh, that's the view, Swanage is behind that nearer headland and then tomorrow I'm going to walk around that chalky headland with the stacks and then do you know what, all that I don't have to worry about because I'll have finished my coast path walk and I'm just looking at the Isle of Wight, thinking that's doable and also thinking it's a bit sad that I don't have to worry about how long that headland is from Dalston Castle looks interesting, I'd like to go back and have a proper look and uh, just now one and a quarter miles from um, Swanage I'll view there, look Look at that, that's lovely isn't it? And there's Swanage That's lovely, isn't it? We're uh, leaving Swanage on the train. Steam train, even. Train, and we're heading back to our campsite. It's a steam train. And this, this steam train goes through our campsite, which is awesome. 